This morning, police in Ann Arbor are reminding drivers, stop for school buses. They're writing more tickets because of it, and they'd like to nip this trend in the bud before something tragic happens. Ann Arbor police even released a photo that we want to show you. Do we have a photo here? Or Darnell's going to show it. Oh, okay. uh, well, Darnell's going to show this photo that they put out there just to warn people. It probably shouldn't come as a huge surprise that they're resorting to doing this when you start writing more tickets. You want to do something before something they're really calling awful people happens. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty simple. I mean, the, the first rule is that you stop when you see the sign come out. And it's, it's pretty simple to think about. We'll show you the graphic in a minute. First rule is two lane vehicles going both directions must stop. And if there are several paved lanes, vehicles going in both directions must stop. If it's a divided highway, vehicles behind the bus must stop and vehicles going in the opposite direction can proceed but must proceed with caution. So, I, I mean, the, the rule of thumb is if you see the sign come out, stop. If you're on a major divided highway, obviously, you know, you don't want to stop traffic on the other side. You can still proceed, but still proceed with caution because kids are, are coming across the street possibly. So, right. And that's it, the whole point. It's all about keeping the kids safe. Yeah, it, it it's is. just make it a habit. Whatever you're doing, it's not as important as it's the risk not. of a child dying. Out, it's so. not. It's not. So please, just just take heed to this. It just it makes no sense to not yep. stop for the school bus, and it's a pretty hefty fine. I don't know exactly what it is. I can't remember, but it's a pretty steep fine, and as it should worth. be. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah.